What's going good people? In today's video here for Resident Evil 7, I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to beat Chainsaw Jack. And in the process, man, I'm going to show you guys a few different strategies. So with that, let's get started. Now, before you even face off on Chainsaw Jack, you want to make sure you have as many different weapons and items as possible just to make sure the battle is as easy as possible, especially if you're having a lot of problems. So definitely want to make sure you have the shotgun weapon. If you don't know how to get this weapon, um, after you get the scorpion key, which you should have up to this point, you want to go upstairs into the recreation room that's the room with the pool table and where we watch the Mia videotape and inside there there's a scorpion door go in that door get the broken shotgun and replace the broken shotgun with this shotgun here um, you also want to make sure you have a lot of uh, inventory slots available to ensure that the transaction takes place um, I'll put a link into the description below for a video where I um, did just that so that's the first thing that we want to make sure we have before we face Jack it just makes things a lot easier for us um, the second thing that can be useful is to make sure we have the steroid upgrade <clears throat> that permanently increases our health to show you guys exactly where that's located so first we need to make sure we have the treasure photo and the treasure photo was located right in this room right over here I'm gonna show you guys um, exactly where the treasure photo is at I'm gonna show you on the map where it was at and so this is the same room where we got the um, scorpion key so snatch up the treasure photo and then head into that room where we crawled into after we use the sky hunter painting puzzle um, and in this room right here above the fireplace in this room right here above the fireplace we got to interact with this rock and there is the steroid location the steroid upgrade man and um, you could use it as a little uh, health pack as well too I've done that a few different times um, so it could be useful and um, definitely something that we want to have if we're having a lot of problems with Mr. Chainsaw Jack. Um, also too, before you face a man, do a thorough search in this room right here. There's a few items in the tubs in this room, a few items um, in general in this room. I think there's some herb upgrades, um, some bullets located around the place. So it's always a good idea to be um, thorough, especially if you're having problems with this dude. Um, and after you um, see him for like the third or fourth or fifth time, <laughs> um, check that locker over there to the right and then straight ahead we got some more items over here so get these bad boys so I just want to make sure man that we're um, adequately prepared for the battle so we can take this damn joker down and when we go upstairs over here in the right underneath this table there's another item so you could snatch that up and this is the room where the um police officer hanging up who get his head chopped open with the shovel but he's seen better days and then the last item that we're gonna get before we face chainsaw jack is located down these stairs over here bank this right over here we're gonna get this item right here so we got a lot of different items man that could be useful for us before the battle so now let us go and take on Chainsaw Jack. So the first strategy that I'm going to implement, man, is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, what we're going to do is light him up in the head a few times with the shotgun. And I'm playing on normal difficulty. So just FYI. So just peg him up in the head, spanky head open a few times with the shotgun. Um, of course, you could use the bodies to, the body bags to um, stagger him a little bit. See, damn, give you a nice little head butt. Just keep lighting him up in the head. Try not to miss like I did. Then eventually he'll go down. Use that opportunity to wail on him. And then when he gets back up, he's going to go for the chainsaw. So when he does that, man, there's also a chainsaw available for you to snatch up. Um, make sure you have the available inventory slot as well, too. I think it only takes up one slot. Um, as you saw right there, too, there's an extra item located in this room. So if you need that, go ahead, break that box. But this is the chainsaw weapon. So all I really did, man, was I used both the L1 and R1 attack at the same time, like the strong melee attack, and just basically rushed into him. Um, what I noticed when I did this was that it would um, block some of the incoming damage, not all, but some of the incoming damage from his attack. And um, I was able to tear him up. So I just kept on doing this. So just kept charging towards him with the L, sorry, the L2 and R2, um, L2, R2 attacks. So I'm assuming they're the same thing on Xbox. So the both trigger buttons, I'm guessing. So just kept on doing that. Eventually I'll tear his ass up. Um, saw his ass to pieces. Use that opportunity to when he's on the floor. Now the only thing you gotta watch out for is um, the, as you can see, the chainsaw um, will go on the fritz. So you gotta rev that bad boy up. Just look at the light indicator. 
So when you see the orange light or when you see the light blinking, that means it's about to go down. So just be aware of that and you gotta um, restart that bad boy a few times, man. Pull that lever, get that bad boy kicking, and then just repeat. So just go ahead and there's a way for you to, um, you can also block and parry his attack as well too, but I didn't even bother to do any of that. I just was like, alright, let me just rush this dude with this dual weapon right here. So you can use this as a means if you're having trouble with this battle. And eventually he'll go down, man. And like I said, it minimizes the incoming damage from you. You don't take as much damage as you normally would have, I don't think. So, he's almost down. Revving him up one more time. And there we have it. Now, I'm not too sure um, at the end he's going to like self-destruct and blow up. I'm not too sure if that does any damage to you. But, you know, why take the chance? Especially if you're low on health. So, you might not want to risk it. Um, the last but not least, there's also one additional item in this room. So that's something to be um, on the lookout for. So that's the first strategy I'm going to show you guys. The second strategy <clears throat> is, of course, like I said, use the body bags to um, stagger him. So kick the body bags into him, stagger him. Use the handgun. We're not going to use the shotgun at this point. We're going to save our shotgun bullets. So just keep on using the body bags, stagger him so you could spank him in the head. Spank him good and well right in his head. There you go. Busted. Nice little love top in the head. So just keep on doing that until eventually he goes down once again and wail away on him. And then like before, he will go for the shotgun. And as you can see right here, I'm using the steroid. My health was low. It gave me full health as well as um, permanently extended my health. So now I'm going to snatch up the uh, chainsaw weapon, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually shoot him in the legs with the shotgun weapon. And then when he goes down, switch to the chainsaw weapon, tears ass up. So um, whatever strategy you feel will work best for you, shoot him in the legs. Don't get hit if you could avoid getting hit. So shoot him in the legs a couple of times. He will drop down. And use that opportunity to tear him up. And run away. Switch to the shotgun again. Spank him in the leg. And of course you could spank him in the leg as well too with the handgun. So um, whatever weapon you feel most comfortable with. And whatever strategy you feel most comfortable with man. You could just implement. So just keep on repeating that. Keep on doing that. Shoot him in the leg. He'll drop on down. So just keep repeating that until eventually he will die. And then that will be that. Uh, so folks, that is pretty much that, man. Just wanted to give you guys this quick tip walkthrough video for Resident Evil 7. Showing you guys some tips on how to beat Chainsaw Jack. And showing you guys a few different strategies in the process. Let me know what you guys thought on in the comments below. And with that there, fellas, I guess I will see you guys in the next video.